Hi all, in this video let us discuss about Gratuity Settlement in OpenHRMS. OpenHRMS is a open source HR management software for building a happier workspace for the employees. Also act as a solution to run all the HR management operations in your company. Moreover, it is suitable for both large scale and small scale enterprises. So in this module, let us discuss about the gratuity settlement in OpenHRMS. For that, let's go to the App Store and then install the module HR Gratuity Settlement. So currently in my database, it is get installed. So once we install the module from the App Store, we would be able to access the functionality. So let's look on that feature. For that, let's go to the payroll. So in the payroll, under the configuration, we can see a new menu, Gratuity Configuration. And here we can create the configurations of our gratuity settlement and which act as the one of the component for the open HRMS and this module manages the employee settlements during resignation. In each organization, they should need the gratuity settlement configuration. So let's check for that. And here we can create the gratuity configuration. For example, just let's give the name on this field. And then at here we can add the contract type. It gives, uh, that means whether the employee's contract is limited or unlimited. For some employees in some firms, we created the unlimited contract, which means no end date is mentioned. And then for some employees, it will be belong, contract is belonging to, for a particular start date to end date. So that thing can be added at here. So currently at here, I am added the contract type as limited. And then let's add a start date. So I am just adding the start date uh, the, as for the employees who started the contract from 2022 January to 2023 March. And then at here we can add the rules for this gratuity configuration. And then from one, how much year? So currently my uh, start date and date is uh, within a one year. So I am adding it as zero to one year. And then the working days and the employee daily wage days. And at here we can add how much percentage of gratuity settlement that we are given for 21 days gratuity pay. So I am just adding it as two. And then save and close. If you need, for example, if the start date and end date are between a, about 5 to 10 years, we can add different, different roles for each years. And then go to the accounting tab. At here, we can add the JNL and then the credit account and then the debit account and then save this particular gratuity configuration. And then moving to the employees. So in the employees, uh, let's check the an employee who is uh, who can get that uh, gratuity. So from the employees, we can check the employee who is uh, who can get that gratuity uh, settlement that we configured under the gratuity configuration. So just I am going to employee name as Jaws. So let's check his uh, contract. So in the contract, a limited uh, contract start date and end date is added here. And I just updating the salary configuration. In the salary configuration, we can see a menu of wage type that is monthly fixed age and monthly hour age. So based on this wage type, the gratuity settlement is configured in the gratuity while at the end of the service. So just I am adding monthly fixed age and then add at the age of $4,500 and then save this record and then make the contract as in running state. And then uh, go to the payroll and in the payroll let's go to the end of the service it is a new menu that we uh, get once we install the gratuity settlement module and inside the end of service menu we can see a new menu that is for gratuity settlement so in this gratuity settlement we can create that settlement of our gratuity while the end of the service so at here we can select the employee so i am the selector the employee for joe's which has a limited contract type so while we creating the while we selecting the employee automatically their contract type and then joining date basic salary and the gratuity configuration details and configuration uh, line and then the total years worked and how much leaves taken and the gratuity calculation years all of them are automatically calculated and at here we can see uh, his or her gratuity payment 
and it is based on the last drawn salary which means the basic salary plus the dearens allowance uh, and the product of number of completed surveys and then the product of 15 divided by 26 that is a calculation that calculated for this gratuity payment and if the wage type that means while we creating a contract salary configuration we seen that the wage type are of two type monthly and hourly if it is hourly it, uh, it will be calculated based on employee basic salary into daily wage types and then the percentage that we given in the gratuity configuration and then the how much years that completed the service and if it is monthly, the daily wage days will be calculated based upon the whole working days divided by the employee daily wage days. So for a limited contract type, a gratuity payment is uh, calculated like this. And then we can submit it and then the HR or admin can approve it. So the, while the end of the service, the employee can got this uh, uh, amount as a gratuity settlement. Also inside the gratuity configuration, we can create a configure different uh, configurations as like as contract type unlimited. When the contract type is unlimited, it uh, it will be available for the, the gratuity settlement will get for the employees who doesn't have the end date. So it means unlimited contract employees got that particular gratuity settlement. That is a simple feature which helps for gratuity settlements during resignation uh, that is a simple feature which available in this module which manages the employee settlements during resignation thank you for watching the video if you want to know more details about the open hrms you can visit openhrms.com